question six is the comparative acidity question. Now, we're going to come back to this topic in virtually every chapter beyond a certain point in this course and the next one, so that's why it's here. Um, first, over years I've gotten people telling me that you know something has is a stronger acid because it has a lower pKa. No, <laughs> that's not an explanation. That is just an observation that is quantitating what is and what isn't stronger so yes the third one here is the strongest the numbers don't explain why they measure what so that didn't give us anything to say the pka is lower it does tell us what the trend is which allows us then to go in and explain it so in this case basically we have two things going on Every case here has, res has resonance problems because of the aromatic rings. The first one on the left, toluene, methylbenzene, does not have an oxygen. And so that hydrogen, as you can see, is drastically less acidic. This is about the atom that it's attached to, or the electronegativity of that atom. The, the CH bond is not a polar covalent bond. The OH bond is. And that's the first piece of the puzzle. The others we're going to have to go a little bit deeper into. Now, that is here. And it includes the first one as well. So we're not specifying if that's either H or C, uh, sorry, O or C as the X atom here. But when we're comparing the strength of them, we need to actually look at the conjugate bases, which is the anion formed by removing the acidic hydrogen. Okay. So... In all these cases, we have an X group anionic next to an aromatic ring, which means in all these cases, we have resonance into that ring. And that's going to give us the same base resonance structures for all four. Now, the first one, as I said, electronegativity is the problem. So we don't really have to spend too much time on that one, but it does matter here as well. So we're moving that anionic charge around the ring. So we're going to end up with it in three different places. We only have to consider two of them because it's symmetrical. The third place will be this carbon. Going all the way around the ring we end up with something that has the anionic charge next to the original carbon attached to the X atom here. So we really only have to consider these two. Really, we only have to consider this one. Resonance itself tells us that we're stabilizing that charge, which makes things more acidic than they would be otherwise. But this is the place where things differ. If you look at the examples, I have toluene, which is about the atom where the hydrogen is attached. We can ignore that one for the moment. And then I have three different substituted phenols, or hydroxybenzenes, where I have different groups attached here. This is the resonance structure that's going to be important there. So here's where they are. Is they are, in that case, well, let me just draw it properly here. This is the case with nothing there. No other group, a hydrogen. So that negative charge, that resonance structure, has no additional interactions to worry about, good or bad. The next one is nitrobenzene, a nitrophenol, where now I had this there to begin with. Well, now I've resonated that anion right next to a cation. That's a good thing. That's, that's, that's going to be a beneficial interaction. In fact, we can even continue the resonance out here. So that one, if I keep with the resonance going, I end up with yet another resonance structure, where now the charge has left the ring entirely. We now have to charge on oxygens adjacent. No, no matter what I do, I can't get rid of the positive charge in the nitrogen here. So this was a stabilizing interaction. If we stabilize a conjugate base, which 
is with the, the consequence of that is we have a stronger acid. So this was the strongest of the acids of the whole lot because it has that additional stabilization once we get to the anionic resonance, the resonance form with the negative charge opposite the ring from where the original atom was attached. So that's a big deal. The third case was methoxybenzene, where now I don't have a negative charge there. I have this. So I have the negative charge from resonance, but I, next to it I have this. I have lone pairs. Left to their own devices, they would be resonating into that ring. Methoxybenzene without the original OH group, those, those lone pairs resonate into the ring. So here I've got electrons that would like to come inward running into that negative charge resonance structure. So this is unfavorable, not good. It's a weaker acid. This is a stronger acid. Phenol or hydroxybenzene is sort of our baseline. And then toluene is just to show you that the electronegativity is a much more drastic effect than resonance. That changing that electronegativity from just one atom drops us from 41 down to around 10 in pKa terms. Remember, that's a logarithmic scale. So that's a difference of 10 to the 31st times. Um, so it's a massive, massive difference because of that.